Hello everybody, this is Dr. Maharajas Subramanian over here with one more video tip and uh, in this video I want to speak about, you know, like give some introductory perspective uh, about the concept of buyer's remorse. Uh, if you are in sales, if you are running your own business, now it doesn't matter whether it's B2B business or B2C business, it doesn't matter whether it's a product business or, uh, you know, like service based business or network marketing business or a training business, this concept of buyer's remorse is something, you know, like that uh, people a lot of times actually come across. So what is this actually, this concept of whole uh, thing of buyer's remorse and why you need to take care of it? Every time, you know, like a buyer comes and buys from you, they also, you know, like they go through a phase where they think, okay, fine, did I make the right decision of making this purchase? Did I make the right decision of making a commitment? Or uh, it's like, you know, like uh, they've enrolled in a training program, they've came in and uh, inside the training program, they are feeling like, you know, like, uh, did I make the right choice by enrolling and attending this program or maybe I should have went in for somewhere else and all those things. So this way, what happens? I mean, like if it's a network marketing opportunity, they would have enrolled, but then what is it about then continuing in the business? It may be a product which they may have bought, but then, or it may be a service that they have, may have bought and they are looking forward to, you know, like going in for a refund or something like that. And that is where you need to look in into the concept of buyer's remorse. Why? Because when this is not taken care of, one, your sales will drop down drastically or, you know, like your sales will have a major impact. You'll be having the concept of a refund. You'll be having issues with customer retention. So that is one thing. Uh, customer referrals will drop down. So word of mouth marketing will be close to nil. It will be close to nil where other people or your existing customers are not referring other customers to you. So that will be one problem. And yes, you know, like uh, wherever it is applicable in terms of refund policy, uh, that also will be you know, like you'll be having a lot of refunds and uh, repeat buyers will become very less so this is what it is and above all most important than all these things you know like is your customer or your client will not get the right benefit that they should have otherwise got that they should have otherwise got like say for example they might have bought the product from you and uh, the product might be really helping them in terms of being a solution for a problem that they're facing or maybe a training program that they attended uh, where they got all the insights which they, if they go and apply in their real life it is going to help them it may be a service where you know like they've made the purchase they have paid you and they've got some insights and they've got some deliverables which now they have to follow through and all the things now what happens is they're going to go through this phase of buyer's remorse uh, then you know like they're just not going to follow through they're just not going to follow through in which case they are going to lose out on the benefits the potential benefits and the potential results that they are going to get and if they lose out on that like a chat you're going to have a lot of issues with, when it comes to your sales your customer engagement your customer retention and your customer referral and also you know like in terms of repeat buyers so this is what you need to look on and in this day of technology age what then needs to be done in case of uh, ensuring that the bias remorse is not happening is engagement the more you are able to actively engage in terms of your customer engagement and in terms of customer education and help them and you know like guide them and inspire them and motivate them to go one step further or progress towards the end result then you know like the bias remorse is going to be taken care of now how do you do it you can do it in any way it depends upon like it varies from business to business it varies even in the business industry across to you know like different platforms like say for example for a training program it may be you know like in terms of how the audience are feeling and you know like uh, how many people are there in the audience what is the quality of the learning or the content that you are sharing what is the mm, hall that you're doing the training program so like this you know like there are a lot of lot of things you know like in terms of like how it is what is the ease of uh, user experience the design in which you know like the user is going to experience that's something that's very important when it comes to handling bias remorse it's also you know like in terms of like after sales service or after sales engagement where you know you are constantly in touch with them a lot of times what happens i've seen it in some network marketing companies where you know like people are just enrolled and then they're just left off on their own or not much attention is paid paid for them rather you know like it's about like or you know like uh, the upline actually goes and contacts them only when he needs more leads or he needs more business or something like that you know like these things are definitely going to bring in the bias remorse so for taking care of the bias remorse what you need to do you need to ensure that there's high level of customer education, there's a high level of customer engagement, and you help the clients as much as possible. You design your business systems in such a way that the buyers are, the customers are able to progress 
towards their goal you know like they are able to see some tangible progress or progress which is valuable and meaningful for them that's the most important thing in order to take care of your business and if you're able to take care of your business trust me the number of business that i've seen even in my own business or the business of my clients or the business that i've done research upon when buyer's remorse is taken care of that means an additional 20 to 25 percent of profits getting generated uh, in, in, in terms of net profits. Somewhere between 10 to 25 percent in net profits. I'm not speaking about like gross profit. In net profits seen in different businesses. So that's what it is all about. Okay. So take care of bias remorse if you are selling or if you are a business owner or if you are a self-employed person. That's something that really needs to be taken care of. Hope this tip helps you in terms of growing your business and bringing in more profits into your business. So this is Dr. Maharaj, this is Sipsipramanian signing off. Have a great day. Bye-bye.